You can now edit Dolly 3 images in ChatGPT across the web, iOS and Android. Let's jump right into it. This is from OpenAI. This was posted April 3rd, 2024. As you can see, so now you can open ChatGPT and, and use ChatGPT as an image generator, which is absolutely insane. We are we obviously saw this coming, but it is now here, April 2024, ChatGPT, image generation within ChatGPT. And as you can see, image editing. So you can make a selection, give it a prompt, and bam, Dolly 3 will get right to work. I, I did speed it up a little bit, but that was about 20 seconds it took to generate this image. And the image does not look perfect. It does look like it was altered with artificial intelligence, let's be honest. Image generation and in painting is now here in Dolly 3. And in order to access this, you will need to have GPT Plus. So before you do pay the $20 to get access to both GPT 4 and Dolly 3, which I think is honestly worth it man 20 bucks if you're a digital artist business professional i think it is worth it to have gpt4 there are other free tools that you can use such as claude but from anthropic which is my main large language model i do use that because it is free and it is just as powerful as gpt4 so that's something to know and then as far as in painting and image editing you can use midjourney ideogram ai is a lot better for image generation for image editing you can use adobe photoshop firefly and then you can also use leonardo ai and prom ai for in painting and image editing so just something to know before you pay the $20, but this is available right now. Looking over at Adobe, generator fill, you can easily do the same thing. Right here we have a house, a beautiful house in the mountains. And if I tell Adobe generator fill, I want a blue roof, it's gonna generate. And just like that, a house with a blue roof. You can also just generate random objects. Large. And as you can see, there is a large moose and three different iterations of a large moose. So I would say Adobe Photoshop is a little bit better. Generator fill is a little bit better. Next up, man, Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, Bon Jovi, and over 200 artists called for protections against predatory use of artificial intelligence. Let's scroll down, man. In a letter signed by over 200 artists, including Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Stevie Wonder, J Balvin, and Bon Jovi, they say we must protect again we must protect against predatory use of AI to steal professional artists' voiceness and likeness, violate creators' rights, and destroy the music ecosystem. It also calls for companies, AI developers, and digital music services to pledge that they won't develop or use AI powered technology that undermines songwriters and artists or prevents them from earning fair compensation for their art. If you've been on YouTube at all, you can obviously see this coming. The amount of AI generated songs from artists who are passed away and alive. We can obviously see this coming, man. We have songs from Tupac. We have mashups of Tupac and Juice World AI-generated songs. I mean, obviously, people were going insane, so the artists had to do something. Michael Cube, who is the president and CEO of Sound Exchange, which is a music tech organization, he basically says, as long as you have consent, credit, and compensation, many artists and creators will, will likely happily collaborate with AI. There's a way to make this work. And obviously, I agree, man. As long as creators are being compensated and there's respect amongst the people who are using artificial intelligence and the artists, I think this can work. Last but not least, man, this is an unfortunate story, but, but we do have to cover it, man. I will try my best to bring you guys the raw, real news. Lavender, the AI machine directing Israel's bombing spree in Gaza. The Israeli army has marked tens of thousands of Gazans as suspects for assassination using an AI targeting system with little human oversight and a permissive pol policy for casualties. And essentially, they're basically using this AI machine called Lavender to monitor social media activity and then based on the user's social media activity, they are targeting them and then as you can see, they are killing them, which is absolutely insane. This is not a political channel, so I do not want to get too much into this, but Gaza ceasefire now, man. This is absolutely insane. We do not want anybody to be killed on this channel, and we do not like artificial intelligence to be used for this type of thing. And we do not like artificial intelligence to be used for killing, man. Definitely not. Your creator from family does not advocate for the misuse of artificial intelligence. This is horrible, man. And I do want to bring this news to you guys, regardless of it being controversial or not. You guys do need to know about this. This news needs to be out there. Without further ado, man, Gaza ceasefire now. If you have made it this far, man, thank you. I appreciate everyone for supporting this channel. Please be tuned, man. We will be active in the use of artificial intelligence. We will make sure to use AI and not let it take over. We will use it to better ourselves and to simply progress. Without further ado, man, this is the Creative Palm family. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Now I hit the boot, then I tweak, yeah You still have a new team Okay, yeah, young nigga, you still have a dream Front end, back end, and full stack Okay, nigga, yeah, you still have a dream This wouldn't be $7,136,000 I just put up in a range, yeah And I'm a 
off the drink, yeah Brody just put up with the beam, yeah And I'm off a beam, yeah Brody just put up in the rain, yeah And I'm off the drink, yeah Brody just put up with the beam, 